Hello, my name is Carmel Quintana, here to update a uh, fossil discovery. It's called the Ancient Fossil Discovery. I'm going to show you uh, new data, a um, lot of other evidence to prove of my discovery. First of all, after eight years of my discovery, i actually show you the fossil itself that is two and a half inches in diameter that was dug out of a foundation which was about three and a half foot in the ground. And then from there, I'm going to give you some pictures of what it actually looked like before it was dug and actually not photographs of the fossil, which you could see clear as day, the same shape and form of the fossil that I've shown to you here. Therefore, um, I got about six months ago, I had got different pictures taken by high photographer cameras and uh, the gentleman did it with his highest lens in his um, camera and he got a picture of this after six months which you could clearly see the specimen shriveling up more like a prune that you could actually see all the gases are coming out of it and it's exposing itself more to what the creature should have been. Also in this situation uh, geologists had identified it being an ironstone from the late Cretaceous ages and uh, believing that there is 10 more layers inside the crater because it was uh, encased in sedimentary. If sedimentary isn't rotten, eaten, or destroyed by any other kind of predator, the creature will be encased in sediment material where after millions of years, the last form, it was shaped in, cased in ironstone, which is uh, riverbeds, basins, ocean shores, where uh, ironstone is, which is riverbed mud. And to prove that, I will be getting to show you some data that was newly taken by Cincinnati that is a high 3D resolution. So now I'm here to show you the CT scans of the 5000 X CT X-ray machine by Oneida Research. First of all, my first scan that was done and placed inside the machine was the fossil where it started scanning the first image of it so later on down it keeps on scanning and scanning and scanning and goes through this fossil rock to see and what's revealed behind it so here is a second scan of the ct fossil that is going through the process of the ct scan which you could see more of the detail fossil bones existing in the fossil rock and here is the third scan where you can see it actually getting deeper, almost complete. It's the CT scan where you can see a lot more of all the bones. You can see the skull sitting in the middle of its, uh, the picture and all the bones that are scattered around, which they're saying that this could have been uh, 200 feet in the ground where heat erosion lifted it up coming out of the ground and made it where all his bones were spread apart. And said by experts, you could see clearly as day, these bones are measured in micron size, where you could see the hollowness of a bone, which they say bird bones are hollow. And uh, when they are preserved in um, a fossil, they say they are flattened because of uh, the airflow that they have that flattens the bones of the fossil bird. So now I'm gonna show you some 3D uh, x-rays done by Cincinnati, Ohio that are the high 3D resolution. So these are going to be a picture of the skull sitting in an x-ray scan, which you could surely see that you could see the skull sitting right in the middle of the x-ray of uh, a peanut sized skull. So this last one is going to be the high 3D skull done by the Cincinnati 3D resolution where this is a VGL file where there is numerous scans that needs to be created into STL files where there is more data to be shown, but this is one image that was done by the scan where it showed the skull of the fossil completed. Here I am concluding my fossil being the size of a robin egg, which is two and a half inches in diameter. I have pictures of robin eggs that are no bigger than a quarter, which you could see the egg itself, where my egg is actually in a two and a half inch in diameter, where the next picture I will show you is a picture of one of the birds being hatched from a robin egg, 
the size of a quarter. Um, so even this could be the same size of my fossil discovery. And also they're saying avion fossils could be part of what my discovery is, knowing that they have uh, ancestors of the sparrows, robins, and stuff that are, are their sizes. And I'm gonna show you now of a picture of, of puzzle pieces that, of uh, scans that were blown up in high 11 by 14 pictures where I cut them out and made them out of uh, puzzles with magnets to be exactly identified on the original photograph picture from the camera craft guy, which cut out a lot of these pictures right here, which you can see um, micron sized bones, which you can see the micron sized bones, which I cut out one right here, which I'm gonna present to you and show you. But another one where I got, or in a scan, you could see actually the furcula, which is the wishbone, where I actually cut it out into a little jigsaw puzzle. So now what I'd like to show you is the actual fossil picture itself where I cut out the magnets where I'm going to give you a sketch of uh, one of the CT scans that was the fossil skull where I cut it out and made a puzzle for it and once again I'm going to bring it down to exactly where the skull would fit on the picture. That would be picture perfect with the CT scan skull. Then now I'm gonna show you of the wishbone. We'll set it in its place where it fits as its wishbone. Then I'll take off this and show you another bone where we've matched up. There, once again, I'm not an anthropologist, but I'm just going by what I'm seeing in these scans of bones that are matching up in the original picture. What's another one right here? You can see the thing matched up perfect where the skull would go. Thank you for your support in watching this video. To help further my research, click on this link below.